everyone, have you ever had that perfect moment where you just want to relive it over and over again? Like when you walk outside and the sun hits your skin and makes you feel warm and good all over? Well, I'm creating that with my perfect moment cobbler. And that's because the flavors in it blend so perfectly together. I've got sweet and tangy tart, fluffy and creamy, and it's with those berries that I'm using and the batter, but the Philadelphia cream cheese is what brings it all together and just when you bite into it, you're going to say that is a perfect moment. First, I want to start off with the berries, which I'm using blueberries and strawberries because those work perfectly with this perfect cobbler. So I cut the strawberries up and I also use some lime juice on them, two tablespoons on four cups of berries. And that brings out something a little bit different than what lemon juice would do. And so that's why I love it, gives that zing in this. And the next thing I want to do is put my sugar on this. It's about three quarters cups of sugar. Berries are really in season, so uh, depending how sweet the berries are, you may be able to adjust the sugar amount a little bit, but that's how much I'm using for this one. You really want to get those juices going, so that's why I'm using the lime and the sugar and doing this first for the recipe. That way it can sit while I'm preparing everything else, and it will bring out all those juices that's going to melt and just be wonderful with it. Next, I'm going to start with a cream cheese layer in here, and that's our center for our perfect moment cobbler. And this, I just want to talk about some of the things, it's, it's like a surprise in there. It's like one of those perfect moments that are unexpected, and sometimes those are even the best moments. Like when you get a phone call from an old friend that you haven't heard from in a really long time, and she calls you up, and you're so excited to hear her voice on the other end. That's definitely a perfect moment, but it's a surprise. To that softened cream cheese, I'm adding some mascarpone cheese. And this, of course, as many as we know, is used in Italian desserts. And I haven't been to Italy yet, but I have seen some gorgeous Mediterranean sunsets. And that is another surprise at the end of the day when it's been a long day, whether it's been an exciting day or whether it's been a busy day and you get to sit down and you see that sunset. I've added that four ounces of mascarpone to our eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now I'm actually going to add some confectioner sugar. This is about a half cup just to give it a nice light sweetness. That is what I love about this is actually, look, I mean, look how fluffy that already is. Let me just add that touch of sweetness in here. And the other thing about these sunsets is that I love, I love, love, love sunsets. Um, I think they're so fascinating, so beautiful. It's a picture in the sky that's been painted in there and the colors that I've seen and it's just amazing. Next to our fluffy mascarpone and cream cheese. Filling, I'm going to add some warm cinnamon and it's like a warm, unexpected kiss. That's another perfect moment if you ask me. Pull that off. Now we added a half teaspoon of our warm cinnamon. I'm also adding a nice teaspoon of some aromatic vanilla. I love that in all my desserts. One other ex unexpected, surprising, perfect moment kind of like this salt of, that I'm adding here, it's about a quarter teaspoon, is when your loved one is kneeling down in front of you on one knee, and that box in front of you doesn't have earrings, but has an engagement ring. I know that the surprise in that is, makes it the perfect moment. To get the batter started, I have one cup of biscuit baking mix. I'm using a gluten-free version here. And I'm adding two teaspoons extra of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to whisk that together. And a half cup of regular white granulated sugar. For me, I love thinking of perfect moments because it just brings out that warm feeling inside and it really makes, it really brightens your day, to be honest with you. You could be having a down day and you just start thinking about something so wonderful and it really just lifts your spirit like on Christmas morning 
when you open your eyes and you peek out the window and the snow is falling down, it's, that's a perfect moment. I've added a half teaspoon of cinnamon to our mix. Now it's time to add the one cup of milk to this. And we're just going to stir that in and you want to get it so it doesn't have too many lumps in it, but it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. But speaking of perfect, there are other types of perfect moments, I have to say. Like when you get to the grocery store and you realize you have like a 50 cent coupon for that one item you really wanted, or you get up and there's no line. Or when you get in the car and you're driving home and you hit every single green light, especially when you're running late, like I tend to do a lot. So those are definitely perfect moments. I'm just adding one stick of melted butter. And again, stir it. And to make this batter extra special, I am adding the second 8 ounce Philadelphia cream cheese to this. And that is truly what makes it special. I mean, girls, without this cream cheese, this batter just doesn't cut it. It's what makes it. Okay, so no one ever said that perfect moment didn't take any work to get. So we're going to put some elbow grease into this one now. So you really want to work that cream cheese. and Even though it's room temperature, you want to just whisk it up and get that nice, smooth, and creamy texture. It's all smooth, and you can just see what that Philadelphia cream cheese has done to the consistency of this. I mean, amazing. So you know this is going to turn out wonderful. I'm just going to pour that into a dish that I have lightly buttered with some spray butter actually and this is a 10 by 10 by 2 but uh, I'm sure it would work fine in a 13 by 9. On top of the batter I'm now going to put that cream cheese center that we mixed up earlier and the thing about this too is you want to make sure when you first pour the batter in that it just comes slightly below half and for the cream cheese you just want to dollop it around um, you don't want to smooth out anything to mess up the base of the batter because you really want that to rise up. You can see how the batter is still showing through and you just have the dollops of that cream cheese. That's what you want so you know it's going to turn out just perfect. And now we're going to put those berries that have all those juices on them. Oh, you can see it. I'm just going to plop those on as well. Just drop those in and look at that luscious syrup in there that, that now we're going to put this perfect cobbler in our preheated 375 oven just took this out of the oven you can still see the berries are bubbling and it has this nice golden crust on top and that you can see how it's risen up too so i love that you can see the berries oh so good get a nice scoop oh, look how light and fluffy that is So that one's a little too hot for me to just bite right into it. So I pre-made a ramekin earlier for myself that uh, would be cooled off now for me to handle it. And oh, so I just be prepared for this moment. Mm. That is a perfect moment. I mean, you get that light, fluffy batter on top. And the berries are still plumps, so they burst in your mouth. A lot of blueberry and strawberry and that warm sugar. And then that cream cheese, it's just, it's so smooth in there. It, it's in the batter on top, and then it's in the bottom, and it's in the berries in the middle, and just really envelops the whole thing. And without the cream cheese, this dish would just not be what it is. You, you cannot master that flavor without the cream cheese, I'm telling you. It just, it's so good. I just, now I just wish that I had a cup of coffee. And you know what, why don't you get a cup of coffee and come on over and join me and we'll have a perfect moment together.